I'm just uh, dealing with dead oats today. Now I put quite a few nukes through winter and so when you do that you're you're accepting a bit of a higher risk of mortality but uh, I'm just diagnosing what's wrong with these hives so that if there is anything that's uh, undesirable I can address it as early as possible and also the earlier you get uh, you get out here addressing these problems the the better it is if you happen to find something that you know god forbid is american foul brood or something you need to get that get rid of that as soon as possible uh, not only for your operation but also for other people's operations in the area um anyway so i'm gonna make this video it's gonna diagnose i'm gonna be diagnosing a bunch of different uh, a bunch of different reasons why why your hive might have died and maybe you can learn something from this and or maybe you can even suggest uh, something I don't I don't know so anyway the first one I've got into is just a little nuke now this was made really too late in the season it was too small going into winter and um, you know I helped it as much as I could but it's not always possible to save them so Anyway, uh, this one in particular, I had made it in late August with the queen cell, which is really too late in this area. I was really been uh, pushing the boundaries on what is possible here in Nova Scotia. So, but I can tell you that this one actually was, I can tell you that this one actually was a queen failure. It looks like a drone layer and I'll show you the evidence of that here in just a second. All right, so here's a hive we're diagnosing today now. There wasn't very many bees in this and, and hive, it was a five frame nuke, it was probably a bit small. Probably going into winter it was about three frames, but uh, it was made with a queen cell in late August, so, you know, there, it was pretty much too late in the year. It was put a, put a queen cell in and, and see what happens. Um, in this particular case, it looks like we got a, the queen never got mated, so it's the evidence of a drone layer. In this case, so see if I can focus this properly. So you can see these, this little patch of brood here um, is misshapen. There's a little bit of mold on it and stuff, but you can see that the the cells are misshapen, slightly oversized. Evidence of a drone laying queen, and uh, often they'll fail during the winter, and then when they start laying a little patch of brood or finish laying um, a little patch of brood they'll be laying unfertilized eggs and that creates uh, this pattern of uneven misshapen cells and that's that indicates uh, a drone laying queen so what happened was with this one she was just laying drones and and then obviously the, over the winter the the hive just petered out to no no bees and then and then succumbed so that's that's what you're going to be looking for on this you notice that the if i can focus it here the cells are bubbled up and they just don't look like the rest so they're this one also has a, a bit of uncured uh nectar or pr probably in this case sugar syrup from last year but um that could have contributed to it too actually so You'll also notice that this one might have had a bit of a of a varilla mite problem. The little white specks in the bottom of the cells indicate varilla poop, basically. So there could have been a lot of things going on with this one, but uh, in the end of the day, it didn't make it. So just move on to the next one, and hopefully, you know, there's more alive than dead. All right, guys, here is another one. This one's pretty classic, and it's a mouse. And I know that because I looked down in there and I seen them and you can see the comb is all chewed away there and I don't know if you can see him or not he's in there we got a frame or two out here oh pair of them there he is he got down in there and he killed this hive a pair of them so Oh, there he is there. And that's the typical kind of mouse you'll see. He's brown with a white belly. And a pair of them. A 
And then they're going to get out of here and run off probably. The other one already did. Well, yeah, he went out. Anyway, so that's, that's what happens now. This one was up on a very pretty high stand, about four feet, so. It had insulation on top. You can see where they chewed the insulation as well, so. Anyway, that's what happened to that one. I didn't put, I actually didn't put a mouse guard on that. It had a pretty small hole in the entrance, but those mice can squeeze right through. You gotta make sure you put that hardware cloth on. Now, like I say, I thought this, since this one was up on a stand, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter, but uh, lesson learned for next year, I guess.